friends, welcome to Wands. Today we are going to deal with few important questions. Life science ले कुछ important questions हैं ना हमलोग ने कहाँ नाम बोलना था. So let's see. First question इन दाना. Dash is a vestigial organs. E कहाँ ना नाल options ले vestigial organs इन दाना चोदी चेक इन दा. So first options नाम के साथ देखिए हम intestinal villi है ना. Second one papillae. Third one vermiform appendix. Last one is none of above. So, vestigial organ is not our body. If we don't have any organs, we will have any organs. That's why we have any vestigial organs. So, now we have an organ. I is an organ. I is an organ. Why? Because it is helpful. Stomach is an organ. Stomach is an organ. It is helpful for digestion. So, that is the importance of organs. We have an organ. But vestigial organs is not our body. Organ is there, but it's not important. Or particular function is not necessary. Angane meri na organ ne ana vestigial organ sundu varana. So ibarat to option sa ata la intestinal villi ende, papillae, vermiform appendix, none of the above. So what is intestinal villi? Intestinal villi is a structure. Adar villi bolte s villi endu chenda ana. It's a standing structure ana. Ipa ida ana oru pain ek pain ek anengi ingen erike villi form jaya. अंदर जाते हैं इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रैक लाने मेनली स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रियल लम लार्ज इंडस्ट्रियल लो अनका कंडो वेरन द सो अदेने मेन फंक्शन तो चलने की फूड पार्टिकल्स ने अब्सोर्ब या एन्ना आना इंडस्ट्रियल विल्ले डा फंक्शन एंड मोर ओवर इट हेल्प्स इन इंक्रीसिंग सरफेस टेंशन अप विल्ले नो चलने की � इन्हें नाल अंजी विल्ले अंडा, so what is आह इन्हें फंक्शन अंदा है ना, एक विल्ले इधर आना विल्ले, so इवर तो सरफेस एरिया कूड़ आना विल्ले ले, so it's never a इन्हें vestigial organs, it is helpful in digestion, understood? so intestinal विल्ले अल्ला, papillae, what is papillae? papillae नम्बर टंगी कारण तो चल रहा है, taste buds से बोला ना structure ना, अदम more over अंगने, इप्पे इधर आना टंगे अंगी, इ टंगे इन्द so, this tank is a little bit of a tank. Now, we have pets. For example, dogs and cats. They have a frictional force on our skin. What is that? Papillae. How is it helpful? We have a taste receptor. Food processing is the main structure of the tank. So, papillae is the vestigial organ. So, the next option is vermiform appendix. So, we have a vermiform appendix. So, vermiform appendix. So, we have to use the vermiform appendix to use the small intestine in the colon and the small intestine in the large intestine. Now, we have to use the vermiform appendix. That is the vermiform appendix. Normally, we have to use the vermiform appendix. So, in the small intestine and the large intestine, we have to use the food particles. Obviously, the food particles are ascending. But, what do you do? We have a gravitational force. So, gravitational force is going to be a third. So, what happens? See, food, vermiform appendix is a pouch of the structure. If you have a weed, you have to degrade the weed. You have to degrade the bacterial infection. So, what happens later? You have to form appendicitis or appendic infection. What happens is that we have to remove this. It is the first thing we have to remove. That is why we have to remove the appendix. Appendix, appendectomy, appendix surgery. Vermiform appendix is the correct answer. So, that is the vestigial organs. It is vermiform appendix. Vermiform appendix is the vestigial organ. Where is the vestigial organ in our body? That is the nictating membrane. Nictating membrane is the bird cell. In the bird cell, there is a fish cell. Why? They have to fly high. So, it has been used to protect the vital layer. Transparent. That is the fish in the water. Under the sea. Under the water. It helps in protecting their eye. It acts like a goggle for them. Understood? So, that is vestigial organs. So, let's move to next question. So, next question is, the experiment that stimulated condition thought to be present in early area. Thought to be. Thought to be in the chat. That was a hypothesis initially. Understood? It was a hypothesis. So, the experiment that stimulated condition thought to be on the early earth. First option, Hershey Chase experiment. Second one, Geiger Marsden experiment. Third is Miller Ure. And last one is Sheeha Leon experiment. So, right answer is Miller Ure experiment. Miller Ure experiment is right answer. 
So what was the hypothesis? Miller or a experimentally theoretically prove a hypothesis in there. No, it was a chemical reaction. Understood? It was a chemical reaction that thought to be existed during the formation of Earth. अरे नमल पढ़िच्छा समय तरह मुझे four four thousand four billion years ने before Earth इन्दे formation लेकिन universe इन्दे formation नमल पाला दालन theories consider रहे थे यारनो अंदर बिब्लिकल थियरी है अरनो पिने केमिकल रिएक्शन अंडा है अरनो अल्लाह दे सर्टेन एक्सिस्टेंस अंडा है अरनो बिग बैंग अंडा है अरनो सो आधे बोले हाइपोथेसिस आयत अंडा है अरनो केमिकल रिएक्शन वाली फॉर्म जाए सो हाउ दे प्रूव्ड इट सो मिल्लर उरे एक्सपेरिमेंट लाया ना केमिकल रिएक्शन प्रूव Particles and I don't know. Now, the early existence at the earth in the condition which it and it was heated, supposed to be a volcanic activity which heated the earth condition. Where I'm in the that vaporized and moly poi vapor at a moly poet or the condensate the each chamber will collect it. Okay, it was collected. The condensed water was collected here, forward forwarded by we gave an electric circuit. Why electric circuit acted as a current supply? Now, the thundering reformation and then the other. Ibadah kondensi itu malay itu tanah orang tu boi, ada ana orang, awal dulu what you call the condition, orang control the condition le, it condense. First what happen? It was vapor, vaporized, evaporation and dia no, heat and dia no, heat ni entah ni concern entah volcanic activity atau la heat atau kondensi itu dia no. Anak itu water vapor ay, pinna itu condense dia itu chamber le collect itu chamber le under electrode and dia no, which which acted as a electric उरे थंडर फॉर्म जेस फॉर्म जेडो देन फाइनली इट वाज कलेक्टेड सो ये माया अलग ही वाटर कलेक्टेड इधर बताइएगम ये बीकल नमल वाटर कलेक्टेड हो वेर इट हैड प्रोटीन पार्टिकल्स एंड अमीनो एसिड्स अमीनो एसिड्स एंड प्रोटीन पार्टिकल्स हम ये बीकल नमल कलेक्टेड हो नम की किटी सो दैट वाज हाउ केमिकल रिएक्शन वाज प so what is the answer? The experiment that stimulated condition thought to be present, thought not even hypothetically present at all on the early earth. That is Miller-Urey experiment. So the right answer is Miller-Urey experiment. So next question is example of homologous organs. Example of homologous organs. So options are the arm of a human, wing of a bird, wing of an insect, wing of a bird, leg of a dog, leg of a spider. None of the above. So first option in Kanan, the arm of a human, wing of a bird. Homologous organs are not done. We have to homologous organs. We have to learn one structure. That is the internally one structure. But externally, structure will be different. So leg of a dog and leg of a spider. Internally and externally, structure is different. Wing of an insect, wing of a bird. Obviously, wing random same. But bird and wing, insect and wing, internal structure is different. Next one is arm of a human and wing of a bird. So arm of a human and wing of a bird नो आरे में देखेंगे हम अब इधर radius हम अल्ल नेम random internally same आना. Okay? Wing of a bird आयल हम शेरी, arm of a human आयल हम शेरी, अब इधर radius हम अल्ल नेम almost they are similar in structure. Only different is externally arm of a human is converted to a four limb. Four limb नो आरे में देखेंगे ना हमारा कई आयतम Wing of a bird नो चाहे internally अल्ल structure आने के लिए और के wing side टे convert आना. Why? For the help of a flight. So the right answer is option A, the arm of a human and wing of a bird. So next question is an example of convergent evolution is options under wing of a hawk moth, wing of a hawk, teeth of a domestic dog, teeth of a wolf, wings of geospiza, magnirostris, wings of geospiza, fortis. None of the above. So, what are the options? What is a convergent evolution? Convergent evolution is the ancestor is the same. But still, they have the same kind of function. That is, hawk moths and wings. I mean, hawks. What is a hawk moth? Hawk moth is a kind of an insect. Moth is not real. Obviously, it is an insect. So, hawk moth is also an insect. Hawks are, hawk is real. Eagle. High level bird is a hawk. So, there are two wings, okay, but they don't have a common ancestor, still they have some kind of evolution where they possess the same kind of function. There are two wings, two different functions, but they have a different evolutionary ancestor, okay, ancestors are different. So, that is what is meant by convergent evolution. So, option A is the right answer, wing of hawk moths and wing of hawk. Understood? 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 Understood?
So next we are going to the fifth question. The origin of species was written by origin of species. Obviously we know the right answer is Charles Darwin. He's he had uh, wandered the whole globe with the help of an HMS Beagle ship in Korea, and he wrote the book Origin of Species. The other options are Ludmila Kuprianova, Mikhail A. Fedonking. None of them are. So right answer is Charles Darwin. So that's the end of the session. So we will meet you soon. Thank you for watching once.